If you wore out your Xbox One thumbsticks from playing too much Call of Duty, or your doggo thought it was a chew toy, or maybe your child was a little bit hungry, somehow you've destroyed or worn out the grips on your thumbsticks, this video is for you. This is just going to fix the joysticks themselves. If you have drift, it will not repair that. How's it going everybody? My name's Eric, and in this video we're gonna be replacing the thumbsticks on this Xbox One remote control. We're gonna be changing these controller sticks just the little plastic tip part from worn out to brand new and it's not that difficult to do and with this tutorial you should be able to do it as well. You're going to need your broken Xbox remote, you're going to need replacement thumbsticks, toggles, joysticks, whatever you call them. You're going to need a T8 security bit tool to get the screws off. You're going to also need a prying tool like this guitar pick or a plastic spudger like this. Links to the parts and tools are in the description. I think you can get everything for less than 11 bucks which gives you six replacement joysticks and the tools to do it for way less than buying a new controller. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe so you don't miss another project and let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna do is turn your controller over, remove the back cover, and you're gonna have to take off these little panels right here. The easiest way to do that is to press in on this back trigger bumper and you're going to want to pull towards you and to create a little gap in the corner there. Then you can take your or prying tool and follow it along releasing more of the clips. You're gonna run it along here, around the back, around the bottom, and then up this side. It should loosen it up enough so you can get a grip, kind of wiggle it a little bit, find the points to run along to release. You can kind of jiggle it, work it, and then this side cover comes off. You're gonna need to do the same thing for the other side. This is probably the most difficult part of the repair. <laughs> That popped it off and I didn't break any tabs. Once you get your two side covers off, place them to the side and grab your T8 opening tool. You can get a screwdriver kit from Walmart that has a T8. I have this one from a previous controller kit that I purchased, but the link to the kit in the description comes with the tool. You're going to take out five screws, one, two, three, four, and then there's a secret screw in the middle of this sticker. You just have to press in the middle, pop open the sticker, and then unscrew that secret screw to the left, and then the other four screws as well. Once you get all those screws out, you should be able to flip the controller over and lift off the front cover, revealing the joysticks that we're gonna be replacing. We're gonna do both on here. They are the exact same part, so if you had a spare controller that had one good joystick on it, you could harvest it off of that controller and put it on this one, or the kit comes with six. So when you stick the joysticks on, look at the hole, line it up with the way the stick is. If you don't have it lined up perfectly, you can rotate it a little bit and then press down. You should be able to get it lined up pretty easily. Grab your controller case, place that back on, turn it over, reinstall the five screws that you took out. And don't forget that last little secret screw underneath the middle of the sticker. Then you can put your batteries back in replace your battery case. So grab your side panels. These just pop back on extremely easily. Line them up, press them in. Everything should pop right back into place and your controller is good as new. It feels great. These XB1 replacement sticks are very, very close to the OEM. They feel great and you will love them much more than your destroyed sticks that you did replace. If you have any questions or you want to say thanks, throw it in the comment section. I appreciate your guys' time. Hopefully you got your controller up and working. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, subscribe for more projects, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.